An easier, faster, and less hassle way of installing SD2 Vita to your jailbroken TS Vita is here, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's get started. For this guide, you need to have a jailbroken PS Vita on firmware 3.60 or 3.65, an SD2 Vita adapter, a micro SD card, an SD card reader, and a PC. So, if you have followed my newest guide about hacking the PS Vita, I'm sure you have the Vita deploy on the home screen. But if you don't have it, you need to download the VPK file from the link in the description below and install it with Vita Shell. But if you don't have the Vita shell, you need to rehack the console. Now get the SD2 Vita adapter, insert the micro SD card into it, and insert it into the console. Now run the Vita deploy. Move the cursor down and select miscellaneous. And then choose format a storage device. Make sure the target is SD2 Vita and the file system is TextFed. Then choose Format Target Storage. Now go back and choose App Downloader. Make sure your PS Vita is connected to the internet or else you cannot download anything. On this screen, you need to find the UIAMT installer, check it, and download the selected app. Then select the yamt.vpk file and install it. Press the PS button, close the Vita deploy, and run the YAMT installer. On the options screen, select the light version. And the Vita will automatically reboot. Now get into the settings. Select devices. And choose storage devices. Enable the YAMT driver. And if you are using the PS Vita Fed, you need to choose the memory card for the UX0 partition. But since I'm using the slim version, I will leave the settings as default. Now turn off the console. and turn it on again. Now run the Vita Shell. On this screen, you can see that the SD2 Vita is now detected as the UMA0 partition. Observe the storage capacity, but even it is detected, it is still nothing inside it. We need to copy everything from the UX0 partition to the UMA0 partition. Get into the UX0 partition. Select any folder, press the triangle button to open the context menu, and select mark all. Press the triangle button again, then choose copy. Now go back, enter the UMA0 partition. Press the triangle button, then select Paste. And wait a while. After completion, close the Vita shell. Now get back to the settings. Choose Devices. Then select Storage Devices. Swap the UX0 and the UMA0 content. 
So in my case, I chose SD2 Vita SD UX0 partition and the internal storage SD UMA0 partition. Then turn off the PS Vita. And turn on the console. If you did it correctly, you could see the flashing orange light while the SD2 Vita is running. You can check if all the apps and games are still there. If you cannot see any of the apps or games, then maybe you did something wrong. Or perhaps the SD2 Vita adapter is broken. Or something else. Now I will show you how to install apps or games into the microSD card. Turn off the console. And remove the SD2 Vita adapter from the console. You can use the Wi-Fi or USB transfer method via the Vita shell, but I prefer direct SD card access. So this is how the SD2 Vita's microSD card content. Before doing any file operations, we need to unhide the folders. Click View, then under Options, select Change Folder and Search Options. Click the View tab, and activate Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. And then uncheck the Hide Protected Operating System files. Select Yes, then press the Apply button. And press OK. Now you can see every files and folders inside the microSD card. On the right window, we can see some PS Vita games, and I got it using the NoPay Station tool. I will select 5 random games and drag them into the app folder inside the microSD card. If you want to know the NoPay Station, try googling it. Reinsert the SD2 Vita into the console. And then, open the Vita shell. Get back to the main partition window, press the triangle button, and choose Refresh Live Area. And it will detect the installed games or apps. Close the Vita shell and see them on the home screen. So how do we upgrade the microSD card for the SD2 Vita without losing anything? Easy. Turn off the console. Then remove the SD2 Vita adapter and take out the microSD card from it. In this case, I want to replace the current microSD card with a 128GB microSD card. Download the HDD RAW copy tool and the CC blank image file from the link in the description. Install the HDD RAW copy tool and follow the on-screen instruction. Make sure you have inserted the new or target microSD card into your computer. In this case, it is detected as drive E, and the capacity is 128GB. Select CC blank image as the source file, then press continue. For the target drive, I chose drive E. Warning, do not wrongly or accidentally choose other drive, or else you are doomed. Press continue, then press start. Now select the SD card drive, and you will see a pop-up window to format it. Press format disk. Format it as XFAT, and leave the allocation unit size at its default value. Please do not type in the volume label, leave it blank. Press the Start button, then press OK. If your SD card reader only reads a microSD card, you need to copy everything inside the card to your computer hard drive. And then, insert the newly formatted microSD card and copy back the data into it. Or, if you have two microSD card readers like this one, open the source and the target microSD card on your computer and do the copy-paste operation. 
If you have a card reader with two slots or more, you need to use a microSD card adapter as a bridge to copy everything from the source card to the target card. So on the left window is the newly formatted microSD card, and the source microSD card is on the right window. Now, select all the files and folders, then copy or drag it to the left window. And replace the content if prompted. Insert the newly filled microSD card into the SD2 Vita adapter. And insert it into the console. And turn it on. When everything is good, you can see all the contents on the home screen. You can check the SD2 Vita capacity by opening the Vita shell. Look at the UX0 partition. It is now showing an upgraded capacity. So that's all about the new SD2 Vita setup method, installing the games, and upgrading or replacing the SD2 Vita's microSD card. Thanks for watching this video.